Is Merit, the makeup brand, the best makeup brand for us mature, nearly 70-year-old women? Let's find out. I'm so excited for today's video because I've been wanting to try Merit, the brand, for so long. It hasn't been available in the UK until very recently. And let's get cracking. So the three products that we're going to be trialing today are the Perfection Complexion Stick. I said that wrong. The Perfecting Complexion Stick the Flush Balm and the Lip Oil. So why did I choose these three particular products? Well, I thought the Perfecting Stick sounded really interesting because I am trying to be, as we come into spring, summer, hopefully, trying to be more minimalist with my foundation. So I thought this sounded interesting because it's not really a foundation, it's not really a concealer. So it says, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a moment. And I chose the Flush Blush, I'm saying that very carefully, because both Cat of Cat's Eye Beauty and Maggie D have been raving about it, particularly Cat very recently. So I thought I've got to give it a go. And I chose the Lip Oil because it's got no fragrance in it and it's got skin-loving ingredients. And I'm always on the lookout for oils or balms for my lips, which tend to be on the dry side to make them less dry. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the brand. It's a clean beauty brand, and I know that's a very disputed term. Now, those are really three important criteria to me. And the fact that their products don't contain fragrance is really important because I am allergic to certain types of ingredients found in fragrance. The aesthetic of the brand does seem to be quite focused on younger skins, which I think is quite interesting because the women that I've watched applying the brand have actually been in the mature beauty space. So I think that's quite interesting because they do mention a lot of sort of this is anti-acne, um, it's acneogenic or something, or it's, it's not likely to uh, cause you to have breakouts. Now, of course, that's not to say that mature skinned women don't have breakouts, but luckily I'm not in that category. Listen, I had my share of breakouts, I can tell you, when I was younger. So I'm very relieved not to have to worry about those again. However, I do think that's quite interesting. And the other thing that I think is interesting as I read through the blurb on the website is that it does seem to be a little bit like Jones Road, but it does seem to be in that sort of minimalist, clean beauty space. So when they formulate products, they say, and I'm just going to refer to my notes here, they add skin-loving ingredients like plant-based squalane, vitamin B5 and antioxidants. And they've partnered with Biba D'Souza, who's a longtime Hollywood favourite facialist, who's famous for her no list. So they have eliminated 73 ingredients that are potentially acne triggering, like coconut oil. They also are a vegan cruelty free and certified by Leaping Bunny, which I understand is quite difficult to get a certification from. So you have to be very, very rigorous in your product list. Now let's come to packaging. When you make your first order, you get a free bag. It's a little sort of corduroy bag. It's washable. I can't say I love the colour really, but I'm sure it'll come in useful. It's like a little swag bag, a sort of what you might tie if you were Dick Whittington. You tie it to your stick, your staff, as you made your entry to London. But it's very cute. And the packaging is very nice. They've got a nice aesthetic, the blue kind of teal colour, I suppose. So these are the little boxes that the products came in. So I think I've talked enough about the brand itself and let's try the products. Now we're going to start with a perfecting complexion stick. And I'm going to be applying it with this brush, which is a beauty pie brush, because it's similar, I think, to the one that Caroline Barnes used, which was gifted to her by the brand. It's nice and dense, so we're going to use that. So just to let you know, I've prepped my skin. I've got my vitamin C serum and my moisturizer with SPF 50 in it. And all the details of those will be down below in the description box. Let me just tell you what Merit says about this. So it's not a foundation or a concealer, but it will replace both in your makeup bag. It comes in 20 shades. I chose the shade Bisque, but actually having looked and having not noticed this before, until this morning, there is actually a shade finder and it recommends that I should use sand. But when I looked at sand, it just looked a bit golden. Well, we're going to use Bisque and maybe I'll get sand at some point. I don't know. However, it does cost £40, so it's quite pricey. Now, they say um, Bisque, by the way, is medium with neutral undertones, which is what I thought I was. But anyway, we'll see. Um, it's light to medium coverage. It stays breathable all day. It's got fatty acids um, that condition the skin and lock in moisture. 
and it's got sea daffodil extract to help eliminate to help diminish even to help diminish the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots and it doubles as a contour so let me show you it comes in this really lovely container which i think has a slight sort of magnetic closure can you hear that it's a nice clickable closure like that and this is what it looks like and it basically looks like a big fat concealer doesn't it so let's apply some we move my hair out of the way now i'm going to apply it here around my eyes let me just put it right underneath as well i'm going to put a bit on my forehead do a few adamant stripes on my cheeks, down my nose, a little bit on my chin, a little bit here. I think that'll do. And then I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to leave the under eyes for now. I'll come back to those in a minute. And I'm going to start buffing the foundation on. Now, I have actually tried it before. This is not the first time I've tried it because I wanted to give it a go and sort of get a feel for it before I demoed it for you. So it's going on nicely. Now, again, this sort of reminds me of the Bobbi Brown ethos of not putting foundation where you don't need it. So I'm avoiding the dry patches and wrinkles. I'm avoiding this part, I'm avoiding my 11s and I'm avoiding right around my nose here because I just find that whatever I use and however much I moisturise, I get dry patches and they're just very noticeable. So I don't like them. Now this has had a chance to kind of set a bit. And then I'm going to get my sponge and I'm just going to moisten it very briefly with some Beauty Pie spray. Well, I think you can see that has gone on very well, hasn't it? There's no dry flaky patches. It's not, I mean, I think it says medium coverage or light to medium coverage. I mean, it hasn't covered up this red spot. This is always a bit of a telltale spot here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but let's see if it would cover it up. So let's put a little extra on just for fun to see whether it will. So there, I've dabbed it on and now let's smooth it out like that. Oh God, I've got some more of these. Just noticed I've got one of these little lesions popping up again. I always get them on my nose. I had a load um, burnt off by laser, obviously at a dermatologist, um, at the end of 2019. So I suppose I've done quite well, really, but they always come back. I mean, I used to have one right here, but that one seems to have gone. Let's just cover that one up as well, if we can see how that works. I just don't want to put any, I mean, I know my nose is a little bit red round here, but honestly, I've really gone off trying to put foundation around the edges of my nose here because it just ends up looking horrible i mean who gets that close up and goes oh look your nose looks a bit red no one so i think if we draw attention away from that bit and we concentrate on other bits that will be fine see i think that is quite good it's covered it up not completely but it's done quite a good job and you can see it's quite dewy i would say i don't think it is at all matte for a stick, because a stick can often seem like it's going to be very matte. Back in the day when we used to use stick foundations, they could look very matte, I think. So I think this is looking very, very nice. And it doesn't take long to apply. It might be slightly longer than a more liquid foundation, but given that you're not using concealer as well, you're just using one product, I think this is brilliant. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go off camera and finish off the rest of my makeup except for my blush and my lipstick. So I've got my eye makeup on and I've also powdered my under eyes as well. And I think they look pretty good. So now let's turn to blush. Now, Kat from Cat's Eye Beauty said that she thought this cheeky colour would suit me and I think she's absolutely right. I mean, there are some beautiful shades and let me tell you a little bit about the flush blush. So I'm in the shade, so I'm in the shade cheeky. This is £32, again, not cheap but rather beautiful, I think. 
Uh, it's a cream tint that melts into your skin for lit from within colour that stays flush all day. And I think it really does last. It's very long lasting. It's got microfine pigment powders that provide a touch of colour without covering up your natural skin texture. And I think it doesn't highlight the texture of my skin at all like some cream blushes do. Comes in this lovely case very lightweight and handy to use because it's not on some sort of long stick. So let me apply it for you. So I tend to do it like this. So I'm just going to apply it with my sponge, just smooth it in, just blend it in. Look at this beautiful, beautiful colour. Oh, stunning, isn't it? kind of like I suppose it's a sort of raspberry because actually I think there was a raspberry beret colour which I was very tempted by but when Kat said she thought cheeky would suit me I thought I'm gonna go with Kat then <laughs> and I think she's right I mean look isn't that just stunning and it's got a sheen to it yeah, love that. And let me swatch a bit for you. I forgot to do the complexion stick as well. So let me do that. So that is cheeky. And let me do the complexion stick as well, just so you can see. And that is bisque. So that is the blush. Now you can put it on your lips. And actually, let me just show you what it looks like on the lips before we go on to the lip oil. I mean, look how quick and easy this is to apply. Isn't that gorgeous? I do think that's really, really pretty. Because it does have a depth of colour, but it's nice and light. And it does feel nice on the lips. It feels quite moisturising. If I'm honest, it probably does feel a little bit greasy, but I think it's beautiful. So finally, we come to the tinted lip oil and here it is. And what it says about it is it's moisturizing, lightweight, buildable and a high shine finish. It's a wash of moisturizing color for healthy lips all day. And there are two versions. There's a classic, which comes in eight shades and there's the gelée, which are new. And that's what I've got. And they come in four shades. So the classic says a hint of buildable, saturated color. And the gelée says a sheer cushioned formula for a bare lip finish. So let me show you. That's a very small swatch, but you can see it's not that dissimilar to the cheeky cheek colour. So we're going to be a little bit matchy matchy. Now let me apply it for you. Now it comes in this lovely bottle. Actually, do you know what? There's not a lot left. I seem to have only had it a few days. Hmm. I have to be a bit more sparing with it, maybe, because I can see it almost looks like half the bottle's finished. Hey, hi, John. Oh, yeah, I much prefer this to putting the cheek colour on my lips, actually, it has to be said. This is much more comfortable. It feels more like a proper lip product. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So there you have it. That is my Merit Mature makeover. What do you think? Using only three products, mind. I do think that their products are beautiful. Let me just come close again so you can see how the texture of my skin has reacted to the complexion stick and the blush particularly. I think I look glowy. I think it looks natural. I don't think I look overly made up. I really like the aesthetic of the brand. I think the I think the containers are great. I have to say, I am surprised at how much of the lip oil I've already used. So I think I need to be a little bit more sparing because it's not cheap. But I really like the brand and I'm definitely going to be trying more of their products. And I think this brand is going to suit my nearly 70 year old skin, particularly as we come into spring summer when I've ditched the medium to full coverage foundations and going for lighter ones. So let me know in the comments below. Do you fancy trying the brand? Have you tried the brand already? If you're in the States, I wouldn't be surprised if you had because it's so much easier to get hold of and it's obviously been around for some considerable time. And in fact, I think the very first YouTube creator I saw trying it was my friend Maggie D. 
And that was that must have been a good year ago or more. So do let me know what you think, whether you've tried the brand, whether you're going to try the brand on the basis of this video. And thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. It really does. And I'd be so grateful if you have enjoyed it, that you would give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps my channel to grow. And by the way, before you go, if you didn't know it, I have a monthly newsletter. Now, in that monthly newsletter, I talk about lots of things that are not necessarily beauty or fashion or lifestyle related. It tends to be more of a monthly favourites video. And that can incorporate books I've read or films I've seen or TV programmes I've watched or music I've listened to, as well as a little bit about what's going on in the wider world. And thanks again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.